This segment of Domarva Life is brought to you by Tidal Health. If that Sunday morning alarm felt like it came way too soon, you're not alone. And if you're feeling a little extra tired this Monday, you're also not alone. We, of course, jumped ahead one hour on the clocks over the weekend, and the shift to daylight saving time has an impact on our brains and our bodies. But fortunately, it is Sleep Awareness Week, and so we are gonna take some time to learn how to take better care of ourselves. And here to help with that is Medical Director of the Tidal Health Sleep Center, Dr. Jacques Conaway. Hi. So great to have you here. Great to be here. So, so let's talk a little bit about that shift, daylight saving time. It impacts us, right? Yes, it has a significant impact. That little hour of a change has a lot of health effects. And there's studies that show that that first week, this week, uh, after that change, did you know there's an increased number of patients admitted with heart attack uh, to the hospital the week after daylight savings change? For the first few days after the change, there's an increased risk of motor vehicle accidents wow. as, uh, as well. So this has a profound impact on, on how we live. Can you tell us a little bit, like, how long will it take us until we're kind of adjusted? Sure. Well, the first couple of days, and I can speak on behalf of myself, can be really rough. Yeah. I'm feeling pretty tired. Yeah, yeah. And I certainly <laughs> didn't prepare for this uh, at all. Mm -hmm. But that simple change of an hour can take a week or longer for your body's rhythm to adjust. Wow. So it's not an insignificant uh, impact. Exactly. Not, not, not at all. Now, so, you know, it, it, you said it takes about a week. So is there mm. anything this week that we can kind of be doing to maybe tend to our tiredness, if sure. you will? Unfortunately, the damage is done. Really? The recommendations apply to preparing for that change mm -hmm. by getting a few uh, additional changes in your sleep schedule before the, the change actually happens. Uh, adjusting your sleep schedule by 15 minutes or so every night as mm -hmm. you're leading up to that, gotcha. uh, that change. So we'll know now yes. for next year. Yes, we will. <laughs> yes, we will. So, yeah, let's talk a little bit about, so for us right now, it's darker for longer earlier after the change and it's lighter later so how does that impact our or does that impact our sleep at night and through the morning sure it has a, a huge impact there are two forces if you will that drive your sleep wake cycle over a 24-hour period one is just a naturally increasing urge to sleep mm -hmm. that starts when you wake up mm -hmm. okay the other is something called a circadian rhythm, and that is a 24-hour cycle that applies to all of your body systems, including sleep and wake a homeostasis. Your 24-hour rhythm is very much aligned with your circadian rhythm mm -hmm. and, and these daylight uh, changes. So what does that do? It puts your body system of sleep out of line with the clock and can cause a lot of problems. Wow specifically with the daylight savings shift. The mornings are incredibly dark. This is particularly a problem when you have to get up in the morning. It's a problem for kids mm -hmm. that uh, have to go to school in the dark. Yeah. It's also a problem later on in the day because there's more light. It tends to make you want to be more active and not want to go to bed when you should. Right. Patients and people who are late sleepers teenagers mm -hmm. are particularly susceptible to, to issues with this because it drives their urge to stay up even later. Right. So there's a huge movement among sleep professionals to oppose having a permanent daylight savings time. Gotcha. What is more acceptable from a health perspective is to have our bodies in line with the sun mm -hmm. and ideally going back to standard time and having standard time being the only time. Now you mentioned you you mentioned kids and teenagers and my next question is kind of does this shift impact kids more adults more or does it is it just kind of everybody's impacted? Did you know that in 1973 uh, the U.S. Congress passed a similar piece of legislation and it was repealed? Do you know why? Hmm. Because of the effects on kids. Really? Parents didn't want their kids going to school in the morning and pitch darkness. Wow. Yeah. It lasted for a year or so before it was, was repealed. Wow. So the effect on kids is, is pretty uh, dramatic. Yeah. 
Anything else we should know, um, Dr. Jacques, about kind of, or Dr. Conway, about daylight saving time and, and this shift? Sure. I think we should all appreciate that this is not in sync with our biological rhythms. Mm -hmm. There can be a lot of health consequences of staying with the daylight savings time, mm -hmm. and it makes more sense to move back to a standard daytime. Dr. Jacques Conway, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us today.